So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending upon what time you're seeing this webinar. Welcome to this webinar session. My name is Rakesh, and I'm one of the leads for external reality capability here in India. For Exchange, Exchange Reality is one of the strategic growth initiatives, which means that there's a lot of emphasis and focus on it. The testimony for this is the fact that XR or external reality is a technology, uh, one of the four core technologies which is reflected in our tech vision, which is the white paper for future technologies, what we see as the trends for future technologies. Now, it's not just only reflected in our white papers, you know, we have been growing both organically as well as through the inorganic growth. For instance, Macavision is an exchanger company, right? And Macavision developed the VFX for Game of Thrones, right? So that's the spectrum in which we can operate. We can go up to the high end of the spectrum in the case of Macavision. Now, what I'd like to do in this webinar is to give you a glimpse of uh, some of the case studies that we did in Exchanger that we delivered to our clients and then talk about what we are expecting from the hackathon, what are some of the objectives of this hackathon. So I'll start off with what we mean by extended tech reality. So for us, the spectrum comprises of assisted, augmented, and virtual. Of course, most of you would be aware of augmented and virtual reality, but assisted reality is a word which is coined by Accenture and which has a lot of enterprise focus helping an enterprise worker carry out his day-to-day -day activities, which could be either a field force technician, a warehouse manager, a plant production manager, and so on. So giving him step-by-step -step instruction, giving him information from various IoT devices, et cetera, to do his day-to-day -day activities. And could either be on a smart glass or on a mobile device. Now, I want to talk about a few case studies and also talk about the fact that XR as a technology is very transformative in nature and it has been transforming the way we live, the way we work and the way we play. So in terms of the way we live, right, what you can see here is, in, is a classic example. So the person here is Francisco. He is a surgeon and uh, during one of his martial arts or practice, he had broken his arm, right? So if you look at the human arm, right, it's a beautiful piece of natural engineering, right, with several uh, bones, uh, nerves, et cetera. But then you would see a lot of people getting accidents and the process of rehabilitation itself is very painful, right? And this was the same case with um, Francisco. He had to, he was continuing to do this exercises, but since the exercises were not engaging, um, you know, his compliance, doing these exercises was very bad and as a result of which his recovery was was slow so that's when a physiotherapist at the clinics hospital in brazil uh, worked along with Accenture to create a vr based physiotherapy solution right and after that uh, the experience was much more engaging because of the fact that there was gamification involved in it uh, exercises became fun. Also the fact that you can see a wristband here, which captured the progress of Francisco. And Francisco was able to recover quite fast, right? So this is one example of how external reality is transforming the way we live. There are numerous other examples of, uh, you know, how we can go to live concerts sitting at your home, right? Using technologies such as virtual reality. The, it's also changing the way we shop, uh, examples of that is the BMW iVisualizer application that Accenture built for BMW, right? So you could build an entire car configuration sitting at your garage. You can see how the car would look like. You can have the choice of your colors and so on and so forth. Now moving on to how uh, XR has been transforming the workplace. There are numerous examples out there and has been transforming industry after industry. Uh, take the case of learning, right? Because of the fact that you're learning by doing, um, you know, virtual reality as a technology has been able to improve retention by about 70% in many cases. Now, here's an example that we built for um, a network uh, operator and, uh, 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 you know, building up the equipments for a 3G to 4G transformation. So the client actually wanted to use um, crowdsourced engineers or crowdsourced workers who would actually make the transformation, right? 
Uh, but you know that you know network transformation work is really uh, cumbersome, and there could be a lot of uh, hidden objectives or a lot of issues that would go through uh, when carrying out a specific program like this, right? Um, so we used um, a, a crowdsourcing platform, and in addition to that, we used augmented reality, right? And through augmented reality, we are able to push in those step-by-step -step procedures. There were platforms available by which we could author those step-by-step -step procedures and push it onto these um, you know, mobile devices or onto glasses, right? And we were able to bring in a productivity improvement by about 20% for this company. The other example, which is close to my heart, is the work that we built for Hotstar during the IPL 2018. We built a cricket VR solution now, the beauty of this solution was that people could actually watch the live match on a TV set up in various experience zones and various malls, uh, sports centers, etc. You can see a picture of that here. And then they could actually choose the over that they want to play in VR, which means that it was almost near real time. And, and we applied for a patent for this specific um, project. And the client was extremely happy with this exercise because of the fact that you know this was a big hit with about 60,000 spectators, and many of them included women. Right? For women, it was an empowering experience because they got to play this game probably after a very long time. Right? We were set up in three cities across four experience zones, and about 60,000 spectators watched this match. The client was very happy with it, and then you know subsequently it also went into their partners where this game was also hosted, right? An excellent example of um, brand building being used. And this is how, you know, external reality is also being transforming the way we play. Now, there are numerous other examples and numerous other focus areas for Accenture itself, be the area of product design, be the area of remote collaboration, or the areas of uh, emotional marketing. Right now, there is a webinar uh, which is available in the web page. Please go through that for much more details. I'll focus on what uh, the hackathon is all about, right? And and why we are doing this hackathon. The main objective of this hackathon is to connect with the community of um, XR developers. What it means is that we would like to showcase our brand to the rest of the world. Tell them that uh, we are working in this space. At the same time, get to know the community of XR developers, who they are, and they could be potential uh, future Accenture employees as well, right? And the other angle to it is also look at the ideas that's there in the market. What is the innovation that's coming up from this community of, of people, right? So these are the two main objectives in which we are doing this hackathon. What we are looking for is relevance. So we have given three main topics uh, for, for people to work on the hackathon. So one is the digital twin. The second is XR for uh, immersive marketing. And the third is um, XR and life sciences and health, right? So please stick to these three areas. Uh, and um, the other angle that we're looking for is innovation, right? So don't go with the obvious. I know there are numerous use cases in these three areas out there in the environment. But we are looking for something different. We're looking for some new innovative use cases, as I said earlier, right? One of the objectives of the hackathon is to look at ideas which are new. So please come up with new and fresh ideas. We also want to understand, you know, why you choose a specific technology, you know, be it VR, be it MR, or be it AR, right? What was the rationale behind choosing the technology? Because as you know that different technologies might be applied for different use cases. And we would like to understand why did you choose a specific technology itself? More importantly, why did you choose a device, right? There could be many factors for cho choosing the device, maybe uh, the device form factor into account, uh, maybe you know the, the availability of the device and so on and so forth. So what is the rationale behind choosing a specific device? And finally, you know, what we would like to see is not a novel idea which has no practical use case, right? We would want to see an idea which solves a specific problem, which has a business angle to it. There is, there is something that you can 
bring business value out of this specific problem, right? So these are the areas that we are looking at. Of course, there is um, a long list of information already available in the website as well, right? In terms of deliverables, what we're looking for is a short synopsis of the idea itself. Uh, we're looking for, you know, how you've thought through in terms of the user journey itself, what the user flow is, a specific user story. So we want to understand whether you've taken into account, uh, you know, how a user would actually use the device, how the specific problem for the user is getting solved, and so on and so forth, right? As I said earlier, there is a PowerPoint template available in the website, which has, um, you know, what would you need to fill up. So please go through that and fill up all the details in that. And some of the things that we're looking for is a high-level architecture diagram, uh, you know, looking at the various high-level components. Also, you know, provide some information about the subcomponents and their interaction. Of course, we are not looking for any kind of code or any kind of uh, material that would, um, you know, give out the IP. The IP still remains uh, with the developers, right? We're just looking for the ideas and your thinking, right? So help us evaluate your ideas by giving as much information as possible, right? So it could include, you know, the process flow, the class diagrams. We're also looking for what were some of the best practices that you followed while you came up with this idea, while you came up with the solution, and while you implemented this uh, prototype, right? What were some of the assumptions that you had taken into account when you actually developed the solution? And what are the constraints under which the solution really works in? So we would like to get a better understanding of that. So please document those as well. Um, also, uh, give us some more details in terms of the other areas like DevOps, units, test processing, and so on and so forth, right? Um, finally, what we would like is, is a working prototype of the video, which shows us clearly how the solution works, right? And the shortlisted candidates, you know, probably about, uh, a handful of them, probably five or six, we have been decided on the number, we'll have to present this online, you know, over a WebEx or a Skype call, we'll decide on the medium uh, as we go forward, right? So those will be the shortlisted candidates. We really want to understand from the shortlisted candidates, you know, what were um, all of this thinking process that we, we just described, and we'd also like to interact with them and get to know uh, their thinking process. I think, that's more or less in terms of what I had to present in this webinar. So once again, all the best for all the participants. I think the first round is getting over by 11th, and then you have the subsequent round to the end of this month. So thank you for your time and all the best for the hackathon.